Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about how to convert Webflow to WordPress. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, and if you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And now, let's dive right in. So in today's video, our goal is to convert Webflow or to transport or export our Webflow contents to WordPress. All you need to do is to follow these easy steps. Let's begin. So first, what we're going to do is that we're going to set up our WordPress. In order to do so, what you're going to do is to upgrade your WordPress account if you're in the free account. So there are actually um, multiple of plans that you can actually choose from here at WordPress. So we have the personal, the premium, and the business. Choose a plan that best suits your needs and basically you can see the pricing and also the details of each plan here below. Next step is to export your content from Webflow. So to do this, what we're going to do is to sign into our Webflow account and here in the left hand corner, click on your CMS collection. Now choose on the um, page or the blog post that you would like to download and um, export onto your WordPress account and say for example we're gonna have this blog post click on the export button and then a CSV file will be downloaded onto your computer so basically when you want to export a file from Webflow there are only like a variety or there are only some contents that you can download from it and I'm gonna share a few of these contents to you guys so these downloadable contents from Webflow includes web pages blog posts text embedded blocks gallery pages and images so if you want to simply um, repeat the process or download more content, you just need to repeat the first process I did. Next is we're going to import Webflow content to WordPress. So in order for us to do so, we are going to simply sign into our WordPress account. And here in the left hand panel, we're going to simply look for plugins right here. So when we click on plugins, what we're going to do is to search for WP All Import. And here you can actually look for a plugin that can install or that can download a CSV file. There are actually a wide selection that you can actually choose from here in WordPress. So there are actually the free plugins and also the play paid plugins. You just need to look for the right one. Uh, WordPress does not also support the automatic import images, uh, import of images from Webflow. So you also need to look for a plugin or download another plugin for that one. Anyway guys, let's continue and let's look for a plugin that we can actually download or that you could download in order for you to import your Webflow contents into WordPress. So say for example, we're gonna have this import any XML or CSV file WordPress. So there you have the ratings which is 4.7 and then you can actually scroll down below for more description and this um, plugin can actually um, download CSV file from your computer. So there, to know more on how you can use this, you can actually scroll down and there you can see a documentation hyperlink. So you just need to click on the documentation hyperlink right there and there will be another page that will pop up in this page you can see the getting started and then importing an XML or a CSV there you can see a video on how you can start importing your CSV file one important note is that you cannot transfer your Webflow site design to your WordPress by the way so 
you need to choose a WordPress theme in order to do that. All right. So here, in order for you to choose a theme in your WordPress, all you need to do is to go to the left-hand panel and there you can actually see the appearance section. So under appearance, you will see themes. And there you can actually choose from the variety of themes that um, are available and that's suitable for your content basically. So you can edit this one out and make it uh, your way and your style. They're actually free themes and they're also the paid ones so you just need to look at it and um, choose the right one that again suits your need best for your website all right so now let's move on to the next process so here you also need to configure your WordPress permalinks. In order for you to do that, you just need to go to your settings and then go to permalinks. You will actually see that if you have the paid account. However, I do not have the paid account so here we cannot actually see the permalinks. So recommended post names URLs will be composed of domain and this will help your search engine optimization if you're going to um, you know choose the recommended post name for your permalink instead all right now let's proceed and let's move on to our last step so point your domain to wordpress so of course you need to point your domain to wordpress and basically you just need to update your dns settings for this you can find it in your hosting account one quick note before we end today's video make sure that you create a webflow backup for your design so in order for you to do that you just need to click on Control shift plus s for microsoft users and um, command shift s for your uh, macbook users as well all right so it's actually very important to back up your data copy your webflow design onto your computer and upload it in your computer as well so to see whether you have created a backup please check it out on your settings section which is actually found here in the right hand side in our left hand panel rather there click on settings and then you can see backups right there so you will see that you have created the backup basically and that's about it for today's video guys I hope that this tutorial has helped you out and clarified all your questions and thank you so much for watching. Thank you.